Have you defined clear objectives for your company and for yourself in your business as an entrepreneur? Have you defined where you want your business to be in about three years, your so-called vision? If you haven't, do it right away. If you have, great, you can now do the next step and formulate a strategy that is the way to achieve your vision, that future state that you are aiming for. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. This video today is about strategy, the definition of a strategy and how to formulate it. So watch it until the end so that you've got a good basis for formulating your own strategy. A strategy is a description of what exactly your plan is, your principles and your approach to achieve your vision, to achieve your objectives and the future state that you are aiming for. A strategy has five main parts. The first one is what exactly are you offering? Secondly, to whom are you offering this? What is your market? Define this very clearly and make sure that this market has a problem that you can solve with your product or your solution. Number three, how are you going to deliver what you have created? Number four, if there's something unique about your product, write it down and make it very, very known to your market. And number four, if you have not still come to the point where you know what the value is, the value proposition that you're delivering, the value that is created within your customer's organization, also define that. And last but not least, you have to define how your offering is different from the competitions. In addition to that, the strategy should include, include a roadmap, a high-level plan of the major milestones that you have to go through to achieve your objectives, say, over a period of approximately three years. And last but not least, you need a budget. How much do you have to invest to implement your strategy? Now that we know what strategy is, let's have a look at how to formulate it. And here we've got essentially three steps. The first step is to determine your strategic position. One very popular tool that you can use to determine where you stand right now is the so-called SWOT analysis, S-W-O-T. S for strengths, W for weaknesses, O for opportunities, and T for threats. So write down the major three strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats so that you know where do you stand right now. Step number two is to define your strategic options. And uh, that might, for example, be you want to, one option is to introduce a new product line or to introduce an add-on product or to address a new market with the same product or service you have or go for a new sales channel. These are typical strategic options that you can develop from your SWOT analysis. And step number three then is to screen these options, to evaluate them and then to choose the best one in order to use your strengths neutralize your weaknesses, exploit the opportunities that you have, and mitigate the risks or the threats that you have identified. At last, I'd like to share with you some important principles and strategy formulation. The first one, make a detailed plan for the next fiscal year. Don't do any detailed plans for any longer because the environment is just changing too fast to to make detailed plans and you know in about two years everything will have changed so much that your initial plan will probably fall apart don't forget the old saying plans are nothing planning is everything and in general don't I said it before don't plan for a time horizon of more than three years anyway for the same reasons it's just everything is just changing too 
fast and you will see when building at your startup and growing your startup that you will constantly communicate with the market, get feedback and constantly adapt your strategy a little bit so that casting a strategy in stone for three years does not make a lot of sense. And one last hint uh, or tip out of my personal practice, don't get hung up on the gazillion of tools, you know, that are out there for strategic analysis and strategy formulation, because um, there are so many, just choose one and apply it. And if it doesn't work so well, try another one. There are so many, like I used, I introduced SWOT here. There is life, um, what is there? Well, value chain analysis, there is Porter's Five Forces, and so many. There is Blue Ocean Strategy, which is quite en vogue. Uh, choose one method and go for it. Uh, that is one principle or one hint that I'd like to leave with you. As a conclusion, let's say that, you know, uh, strategy is very important as a compass, no strategy, no direction, formulated well according to the principles that I have just given you, ascertain your strategic options, go for the one that is best for you, and definitely do not try 1000 tools, but just use one and go with it or replace it if needed. The life coaching will train you to have the traits of the greatest leaders and greatest strategies, work strategists worldwide in just a few weeks. So if you like the content of this video and you are a leader and entrepreneur and you are actually attracted to what I have just shared with you, feel free to give us a thumbs up or share the video or a like. Well, a like is a thumbs up, sorry. My name is Armin Rao. I'm really proud of having you. Uh, the channel is constantly growing and I will continue to provide you with more leadership insights for entrepreneurs. See you soon and don't forget, lead yourself.